Hey girls, what's the matter? What you see? What is it? You worried about something? What's the matter? Huh? What's the matter? What is it, Luke? What'd you do? You killed a pig. A wild hog. It was in the garden. Well. That's... You ripped his throat right out. Hmm. Pretty brutal. I'm sorry, pig. I'm sorry. Well, now, nature's cleanup crew will come along. Take care of that. It was a boy pig. Well, it's sad. These are Chinese chestnuts. They're in bloom and they're full of hoverflies. But honeybees don't really like them. All I see is lots of Pennsylvania leather wings and lots of hoverflies, but I don't see ever any hun honeybees. Mm -hmm. The smell, I'm not gonna say, it's kinda like, I don't know, it's. Let's just say it's a it's a manly scent, to put it lightly. Um, kind of a, I guess some people would say it was a sensual male scent. Not really too fond of it myself. Anyway, it's a very strong aroma out here. That's a cicada you're hearing. These are great because Chinese chestnuts are long-lived and very productive. They draw up a chestnut that's about the size of a, well, maybe a golf ball. What you want? What you want, little piper? Anyhow. This is what the flowers look like. They're fuzzy and they're long. And they're just full of pollen. And deer and stuff love to eat them. So when they get big, their leaves are good too. The deer help to keep them growing higher up. This year the pears didn't make anything at all. This is one of my pears. It's uh, sad because the wildlife aren't going to have any pears. And what happened is, well there's a couple up there. The blooms came and they thought that the cold weather was over with and suddenly got hit by a 28 degree night, Fahrenheit, and that froze them out and they didn't make it. All of them gone. About 50 pairs and only one of them is going to make fruit. So that's that. Here's some nice rototilling done by the pigs. And here is basswood in bloom. Nope, it's still not in bloom. Anxiously waiting. Still not in bloom. Samoso, Moso bamboo.